Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Sim Ruthless and today we're doing a Mexico special here on the channel. I'm going to show you four super cool Mexican outfits and after that I'm going to show you how to get to Mexico. And then I'll give you a short tour of Fort El Presidio. So let's do this. Well guys, it's time to create a bunch of good looking Mexican outfits. And I'm thinking that the first outfit needs some earthy colors. My plan is that we'll start with a green and yellow outfit, so let's find him a cool looking shirt here. We need a mustard yellow pad on shirt with some matching Kotora boots. And let's have a look at the weapon equipment here. We need a black studded explorer gun belt with an explorer holster. Perfect. And let's add a pair of moss green light foot pants. And a green strung sombrero. And let's buy a pair of green vaquero spurs. And I think we need a pair of green rifleman gloves. We need to open up the collar, roll the sleeves and have the boots under the pants. And then we need a trimmed bandana, the green one. And we can add a pair of green crossback suspenders as well. And here we have the little Fajita. <laughs> I really like how the colors complement each other here. The moss green gloves, suspenders, hat and pants. With the earthy yellow boots and shirt. Well, let's try to create another outfit here. I think we need to do a Mexican bandido outfit. I'm thinking like a full leather outfit, so let's give it a shot. But first we need to do a quick strip down and then I think we should start with the weapon equipment here. Let's check the gun belts first. And I think we should go with a black woven pistol gun belt. And let's add a black woven pistol holster to that. A pair of black leather Gibson pants. And a pair of black worn ropers boots. Let's give this guy a pair of black Alvarado chaps. And a pair of Gurdon Deluxe Spurs, also in black. And don't forget about the black rifleman gloves. And we need a shirt as well. A black French dress shirt. And let's roll up the sleeves and open up the collar here. And then we need a black opulent vest. Well, let's change the shirt into a black collar over shirt instead. Yeah, this looks much better. And then we need the black and brown strung sombrero. And let's add a pattern bandana as well. This one will do. And here we have El Muerte. This must be one of the coolest outlaw outfits that I've ever created on this channel. The black leather and some brown details. Yeah, I really like this one. But if you want to, you can skip the bandana and go with a black poncho. I really like this look as well. So, let's try to create our third outfit here. And I'm thinking that we should use a grey strung sombrero. And this guy needs a light grey charo jacket and some black and grey Kotora boots. He also needs a pair of pants, the black bandito pants. And let's change the weapon equipment here. I think we should go with a black embossed gunslinger holster and a black woven pistol gun belt. Yeah, this looks very cool. The Gurdon Copper Spurs in black. And here we have the Pandejo. I really like the Sharo jacket. It goes so well with the strong sombrero. And I really like the golden details on the jacket. Well, let's try to create one more outfit before we go to Mexico. And when I first tried to make my signature outfit a few weeks ago, I managed to come up with a pretty cool outfit combination. I'm going to show you a Mexican version of that outfit right now. 
an outfit that I almost kept as my signature outfit, so I really like this one. And let's start with the gun belt here. We need a black bandit gun belt and a black bandit holster to that. Let's add a black collar over shirt. Then we need a pair of turquoise cabrera pants. And let's give this guy a pair of red and black preacher's boots. We need to close the collar, have the sleeves full and the boots under the pants. And then we need a black lancer vest. And let's get a pair of turquoise rifleman gloves. And let's have a look at the spurs here. I think we need a pair of black Gurdon copper spurs. And a black trimmed bandana. Yeah. Well, let's change the shirt into a mustard yellow collar over shirt. And then we need a black bolero hat. Very cool. And here we have the muchacho. As I said earlier, this was based on another outfit that I made, but that one had a black shirt and a turquoise Ovangila hat. If you want to try to experiment with that. So that was the four outfits that I'm going to show you in this video. And let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. And now it's time to go to Mexico. First of all, you need to travel to this exact location. Above Sea of Coronado, southwest of Tumbleweed, on the upper ledge right here, besides these cactuses. And then you need to pull out your revolver and aim just above the cliff here, and then keep sprinting towards this spot right here. And if you're lucky, you will slide up over the ledge here. But you need some patience, because I think it took me 20 minutes or so the first time I tried to get up there. But it's getting easier every time you do it. And I almost made it the whole way there. <laughs> well, let's just keep trying until we get over there. And yeah, I made it up here. But no, don't fall down. Yeah, you see that you keep sliding when you get up here. And hopefully you will slide into the right spot, but that didn't happen. I fell down. And I have fast forwarded 5 minutes or so. And now I managed to slide the whole way up here. Towards the rock right here. This is the place you want to go to. And uh, there is an invisible wall right here that you will keep bumping into. And if your buddies have already made it, they can use the lasso to grab you while you're here besides this rock. And when you made it through the invisible wall, you can choose between going north to Canada or go this way down to Mexico. And you need to take this path right here down to the water and then go up here and swim over here. Don't try to swim over at any other place because you will drown. And stay away from the coastline. And try to get all the way over here. And when you're at this location you need to go south. Around all the mountains here. And try to stay away from the San Luis River. Because you will be dragged down and drown. And then you'll respawn back in Tumbleweed. And you don't want that to happen. So when you're right here you need to go south. Uh, around all the mountains until you find a train tunnel. And then you need to go through the tunnel and then take a small path leading up here. So let's have a look here where we are right now. The fort is south of McFarland's Ranch on the other side of the San Luis River here. Right here in this location. And this is what the fort looks like. This is El Presidio so let's get inside here. And a few doors and walls are completely run through, so be careful when you're up here. I don't think that rocks are meant for us to be here, so the textures can vary and yeah, you can run through a few walls, so I almost fell down and died. <laughs> so be very careful. 
and uh, let's have a look at the view you can see the Manteca Falls over there and uh, we're right here on the map so let's get up on the roof you'll jump up there and then this way and here you have a fantastic view you can see the Manteca Falls and the whole American side and we got Mexico down here very beautiful and the stairs right here are also walked through so you can't get up there at least not to my knowledge and the walls are also walked through so be careful the view here is absolutely stunning though look at this amazing and I'm back on the fort here so let's use my binoculars here because there is a fishing deck down there besides these rocks and here we'll find the fishing deck my buddy is here fishing right now and you can catch the same type of fishes on this side so nothing special really hello buddy how are you happy to see you here my friend so let's dance Well, let's get back up on that fort again. And uh, we should try to run through the walls here. Yeah, that works. I mean, this tower here is completely hollow. And I wonder why they made so much work on this side of the map if they haven't planned for a Mexican DLC. Let's just hope that we will see that one day. And well, let's get up here. And guys, Let's just enjoy the view here. guys if you want to ride with the ruthless riders come and join me on twitch i'm streaming there several days per week and i like to play with my viewers so come and check it out and feel free to jump in and play with me if you wanna twitch.tv slash jimruthless and that's it guys my name is jimruthless and i'll catch you guys further down the trail bye bye